Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to talk about accept, distinct, and how to create stored procedures. I'm Narash Jasatani, and I am a specialist customer engineer working at Google in AI and ML space. I'm going to be a presenter for this course. I have published Adapting TensorFlow for Real World AI, which is available on Google Play Store as well as Amazon Kindle. Before we begin, let's look at the data. We have two tables, table one and table two. Table one has three records, Apple, Tesla, and Google, stock code and company. Table two also has three records, Bank of America, Apple, and Google. Note that Apple and Google are the common rows or records between table one and table two. Table one has Tesla and table two has Bank of America. Now, what I'm gonna show you is accept and distinct to find out the intersection and exception between those two tables. This would be used in understanding CDC logic, change data capture logic, which I'm gonna show you in the next video. And therefore, this video is important. Also, we are gonna learn how to create a stored procedure in BigQuery. So with that, let's get started. So remember, table one has three records, extra Tesla. Table two has three records, ex extra Bank of America. So we wanna find out records which are in table one, but not in table two. So I'm gonna say, select star from table one, except distinct, select star from table two. Except distinct is the keyword. I'm gonna select this and run this. Look at the output. The output is Tesla. Remember, one record which was not there in table two, but there in was there in table one. Let's do the reverse. I wanna find out records in table two, which are not available in table one. In this case, you would expect Bank of America. Select this and run this. You would see Bank of America over here. Now, let's find out the common records, the common records between table one and table two. Here, you would expect two records, Google and Apple. One thing to note is both the tables have the same set of columns. But in the next video, where I'm gonna talk about change data capture, the two, rec the two tables may not have the same number of columns. So therefore, you cannot use star. But here, we are good. So select, run it. Here you have intersect distinct. That means what are the common rows between those two things? And you would expect Apple and Google, and that's what you got. Now, let's create a stored proc. Now, before we create a stored proc, what I'm gonna do is create another table, table three. Here in the table three, I am just gonna use the metadata. That means the table three will be, would be a replica in terms of metadata information of table one and two, or two. Therefore, I've used create table, dataset underscore SP, which is this dataset, dot table three, as select star from the table one, and I'm using where one equals two. That means do not copy the record, just copy the metadata. Where one equals two will never be true, therefore, it will not have any records. But it will create a table with the metadata. And that's a trick to create a table without the data, just the metadata. So let me run this and show it to you. Running this, you are seeing a table three created, but going to the preview, the table is empty because we used one is to two. Now, Let's create a stored proc to insert the data from table three 
with a union of records from table one and two. So this is the stored procedure. It says create or replace procedure dataset underscore SP. And here I'm going to write down the name of the procedure dot my stored proc. So I'm going to create a procedure in this data set dot my proc and it's always a good idea to give the project name as well. So BDCS project dot. Let's run this. Selecting this and clicking on the run selected, you would see that the stored procedure is created. Look at that. The stored procedure is created under this data set SP. Let's take a look at the stored proc. It's the name here. And then you are seeing the statement which I have used to create the stored proc. Looking at the table, yet the records are not there because we haven't run the procedure. The create table just created the procedure, but we haven't run the procedure yet. So I am going to run the procedure by using a statement call. Please note that you have double, you have braces which are empty. The empty braces means that this procedure does not pass or return any parameter. However, you can create parameterized stored procs, which we are going to see in our next series of videos, set of videos. But for now, just a, an empty bracket. So this is call and the name of the procedure. When you run this, this procedure is going to insert the data from union table one and two in table three. Let's run it. You can see that six records have been added to this table. Going to table three, you would see six records were added. Why six? Because we did not use union distinct. We used union all. Therefore, you have six records added to table three. If you want to change it, you can do the change over here. I can say select distinct. And before even loading it, you would need to delete. So you say delete from data set sp dot underscore sp dot table three. That means it will delete all the records. Now you can see that stored procedure is, you can write multiple statements, not just one. So delete and then load with a union distinct this time. But because I made change to the stored proc, I am going to first rerun the stored proc. Okay, I need to change this a little bit here. So this was the asset. And I am going to rerun over selecting the stored proc, run selected. Okay, so delete must have a where clause. So here I'm going to say where one equals one. That means always positive, always true. Running it one more time, hopefully lucky this time. And yes, we are lucky that the table, the stored proc has been created. Now I am going to call the procedure. Now running, we'll call the procedure and rerun it. And going to table three, you would see the preview. In this occasion, you have four records, four distinct records. Please note that the, all the statements are available in the Google Drive link, which is mentioned in the video description section. Please click on that. Hope this was informative. Just follow the steps. In the next video, we are going to talk about change data capture, CDC. Thank you for watching.